Okay, so here we are with the linear relations section of the exam review. The following graph shows the cost to rent a car for two different companies. So we have company number one starts at $10 and goes in a straight line. Just making them a little bit of a different color so you can see them. And then we have company number two which starts at $20 and goes up at a constant rate. So the first question is, what is the base fee for each company? Well, base fee could replace with the word start or initial. Okay, so we're looking, looking for the start or initial fee. The initial fee is before you've even gone anywhere. So that means we're at zero kilometers. So if we go over here and look at the graph, zero, look up here. This one starts at 10, that's company number one. So company number one starts at $10. If we go over and keep looking up, we run into the yellow line, which is company number two. So company number two's initial fee is $20. So before we go driving it all, company number two costs $20, and number one starts at $10. How much does each company charge per kilometer? So per indicates a rate. In a rate, we need rise over run, which some of you know as slope. So what I'm gonna do is come up to the graph and I wanna find a nice triangle. By nice triangle, I mean a point with um, two dots. And here we go. So I can make a triangle and they're on two nice points. So what I want to do is look and see what these sections are worth. They're worth 5 each. Go 5, 10, 15. So that means that this is worth 5, 10. This is 10 kilometers because here the units for our horizontal axis is kilometers. Now what I want to look at is what is the rise. The rise goes up here and it goes from 10 to 15 so it's gone up five dollars so our rise we're going up the run we're going to the right so for number one which is the red one our rate is equal to rise over run which happens to be a rise of five dollars and that's over 10 kilometers. Well, I don't want to look at it like this. I want to do the math. So I want to do 5 divided by 10, which ends up being 0 0.5. And if, in terms of money, two decimal places make sense. So this is actually 50 cents, or half a dollar per kilometer. Let's do number 2 now. Number 2 is this yellow line, and I want to find a nice triangle. So here's a point, and here's a point. Make my triangle. And I look here, and these are still worth 5, so it's 5, 10, 15 kilometers, and my rise is $5. I go from 20 to 25. So for number 2, my rate is my rise, which is $5, and my run, which is 15 kilometers. And that's going to be 0 0.33 repeated over and over and over again and that is per kilometer. So if I wanted to put this into a sentence, number company number one's rate is 50 cents per kilometer, or half a dollar per kilometer, and company two has a lower rate at 33 cents, decimal 33 dollars per kilometer. Write an equation to represent the cost C in dollars and N, the number of kilometers. So let's call number one's cost is an initial fee of $10. We don't usually put units into our equation here. So I'll just, there's our initial fee of $10 plus this 50 cents. And that, it has to be multiplied by the number of kilometers. So if I go one kilometer, it costs 50 cents. Two kilometers will end up costing a dollar, which is two times 50 cents. Company two has an initial rate of $20 plus 33 cents, or decimal 33, per kilometer. So that N represents the number of kilometers. 
what is the point of intersection and what does it represent? Well, first of all, let's go find the point of intersection. The point of intersection happens to be right here where these two lines intersect or cross. That's our point of intersection. And it has two parts. It has an X and a Y. So I'm going to come down here, and the X happens to be a 50. And I'm going to actually put in the units. It's actually 50 kilometers. And the Y, you have to come over and follow it over. That's 35 dollars. So what does that mean? That means that when you travel 50 kilometers, both companies will cost $35. So it's the point at which the cost and the distance happen to be the same for both companies. So the POI or point of intersection is 50 comma 35. That's just the math, but the exclamation part, explanation part is that when a distance of 50 kilometers is traveled, both companies will cost $35. Now, this point is important when you have to decide which company is a better price. So question E says, when should you choose each company? So what you want to do is you want to take a look at your graph. And the point of intersection is where something changes. Before that point of intersection, you can see the yellow line is consistently above the red line, which means that this company, company one, is cheaper from zero to 50 kilometers because that line is below that. Right? The cost is, is on the vertical axis. So this number is consistently lower than that one. So before 50 kilometers, I should go with company one. But what happens at the point of intersection is the red line now is above this one, so which means the red one is more exp expensive now. So we should go with company two after 50 kilometers, or if our, we know our trip is going to be longer than 50 kilometers. So when should you choose each company? It has to do with the point of intersection. So we should choose company one if the trip is less than 50 kilometers, okay? And choose company Two, if the trip is more than 50 kilometers. So we can use this idea, if Jeff needed to travel 100 kilometers, which company should he choose? Now if you go ahead and look at the graph, it doesn't go beyond 100 kilometers. But this one is lower than that one after here, so we should go with company two. It also works with what we said here, if the trip is more than 50 kilometers. Even though it's not on the graph, we know this one will be less. So Jeff should choose company two to get the better price. for a trip of 100 kilometers. And that right there is the linear relations exam review. I get the whole page on for you at once. Maybe I can't. But you actually have the solution in the PDF on the website. Okay? Good luck on the exam on Friday.